Right, right press the button. Oh hello. god, do you know I didn't do an audio check? Say something. Uh, hello, Matt. Hopefully this is working. Uh, On the plus side, I didn't even have a look. I didn't jump into the comment chat either, so um, this is definitely a good field test. I don't, yeah. We are I mean, live, going to this thing. Well, we are live. We've got a cool little SFG cog that's appeared. Um, uh, I've got no warning messages coming up, which is encouraging. Good. I'm just worried that your whether your voice is coming through or not. Because why is that not coming? It normally comes through this thing. Professional. Professional stream. I don't think we actually have any viewers right now, Matt. Although this will appear in for, for you know in perpetuity in the videos, so we'll see. That's true. But it's okay. We already cancelled once this weekend for technical issues, so this can just go oh, up shit, with look, the other Oh shit! Oh, I said a bad word. Say something again. <laughs> Hello, Matt. Hopefully, no oh. more bad words. Perfect. All right. We're back Cold. in back in the game. All I had to do was just click on something, and now it's working. Tremendous work. Right. So where are we, Mr. Tremendous... Hart? We have already dealt. Where are we? Uh, uh, as I was saying to you off camera, um, I keep looking up at my 2020 wall calendar and just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it's now blank. It had so many hopes and dreams written on it, and now they are all dashed, crushed. Um, yeah. But one of the things that uh, that is up on there is obviously the Horizon Zero Dawn core game uh, release going out to all our lovely backers and eventually mm. going out to retail. So um, seems pretty good timing for us to uh, have a little playthrough i think yeah i think so and um yeah I, I just, it's a slight it's an unfortunate thing that life has just been meant that we're both very very busy and it's just kept us away from doing the streams it isn't just this one where we have been able to sit down and play it for a little bit it's been the resident evil one as well so it's good to actually get back and you know get back in the saddle as it yeah. were yeah yeah definitely i actually did a little bit of um prep do you remember i kind of um started Ooh. doing this guy yeah. So um, this is what it looks like uh, base coded. Um, mm -hmm. And then what I wanted to do is, I don't want to embarrass myself on the stream by trying to work out a color scheme as I go. So I started working on getting a leg how I wanted it to look. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's actually got quite a nice little bit of warm white with cool, mm. cool gray shadows. Um, super easy to do. So so this is definitely, oops, this is definitely a, um, a stream that, that we'll, we'll do in the near future is, I'm not going to be able to paint the whole model. It's just too big. Yeah. But we can do a few little bits and pieces on stream so people can get an idea of what it looks like to paint, paint one yeah, of the maybe, big guys. Yeah, I was about to say, maybe once you're actually done with it, you know, obviously that'll be off camera, but we can... <laughs> wow. I, I've forgotten <laughs> just how absurdly massive they are during the camera. These guys are just looking at it going, oh, no, <laughs> what have <laughs> yeah, we like... done? <laughs> Considering the narrative of user fighting one of these things is that after you finish your normal encounter, you can say, you know what, let's go take on that big thing over there because we can do this and get more glory. Let's do it. Yeah, it feels when you put that down, it's just been a bad choice. Like we could have gone home. <laughs> um, yeah, no, so um, I think um, I think one of the cool things we could do is if you do finish painting it, we'd actually put some pictures up on um, you know, across various different platforms so people can see it as well would be cool. That's true. On camera. So that's, that, that should be true. awesome. Right, so back in the room. So if, if I yep. remember rightly, we are our third um, hunt or third mission in on our uh, grand indeed. hunt uh, looking for... Who are we looking for? We're looking for a, um, a, a sawtooth, aren't we? We have a couple of viewers, by the way, now. Uh, a couple of people after our, slight, oh, nice. after our very late notice. So yeah, thanks, thanks for everybody. joining us. Sorry it's all been a little bit haphazard, but uh, the weather has really played havoc. And I did try um, funky things with a new camera, which looked amazing, and it just didn't work. But it still looked amazing enough to keep trying. Uh, um, never hmm. mind. Right. Uh, so, yes. um, on the third time, we've done this off camera. Uh, we dealt the next three cards off of our um, hunt deck, and we had one red and two oranges. Yep. And no, that's a lie. We had two oranges and one red. And we thought that because we had done so well with the Shell Walker and felt pretty smug, that we we're going to dive straight in and hit a red, even though we we're only kind of just hit level two. So, so I mean, the interesting thing about this is that this, yeah, you have this is really the interesting point you have when you do start going up levels, right? Because we've already reached level two for our hunters. If yeah. we kept on doing level twos, then we might have a real opportunity to do a slightly easier for our level uh, scenario, but that would or encounter, but that would then give us no capacity to level up and you know expand our decks or improve our abilities. We just basically generate a whole bunch of scrap going in to then trade with a merchant. That's so not instead, how we, we roll. So, 
Right. So instead, we've gone bold and we've gone straight up to this. This still, you know, this does mean that if we fail this, it's okay. We're still going to have another attempt to level up to level three afterwards. Yeah. Because if you play it safe, then that does put a bit of pressure on that last scenario. That if you do fail it, then you aren't going to be level three going into the final encounter. Yeah, we want to be level three. Um, right. So your your stuff is off camera. My stuff is is on camera. We actually had a pretty successful game last time, and mm. uh, the merchant was quite kind to us. So. Um, I've ended up with a. I'm going to hold them up to the camera. Um, I've ended up with a Kaja Rattler, which goes in my top slot, uh, which means it doesn't overwrite my sling or my halberd, uh, which is really nice. I don't need ammunition to shoot. Um, I can just discard a card, so I've always got access to a to a range attack. Um, mm. And I managed to get hold of a freeze coil. So if I get a, a critical hit with this, I actually inflict freeze, which does synergize wonderfully with my with my deck. Um, mm. I am nicely protected. I'm still wearing my standard silks, uh, but I've put a ranged uh, resist weave on it, um, which means I reduce uh, damage uh, by two against ranged attacks, which possibly is not going to be useful in this scenario. I, so I was about to say, which exactly is would explain exactly why you chose the scenario with the two scrappers in it. Yeah, um, good, good job, me. Uh, Kaja Halberd is my melee weapon, um, and I've got a shock coil. So again, if I land a critical hit. I'm going to be able to put uh, uh, like conditions down, um, and uh, my Kaja Sling, uh, which is upgraded, uh, so it's got two orange uh, dice, which gives me uh, a lot more access to uh, to crits. Uh, and then I've got a damage coil, so on a critical hit, it does additional damage. So uh, a lot of my stuff is is classic Kaja, revolving around uh, crits and putting conditions out to do stylish things. Um, and in terms of my upgrade path, uh, I started at the top. I put two elusive cards uh, into my deck, uh, which took my deck size up to 16. And I think I've just done uh, Deep Freeze, haven't I? Uh, mm. Which has taken my deck up to 18. And Deep Freeze is uh, pretty cool insofar as if the target is suffering a condition at the start of this attack and it removes a component, gain an additional glory point. So the fact that I'm dishing out loads of uh, loads of uh, conditions is super useful. Blazing Strike I already had, um, and uh, I did. What else did I put in? Elusive, uh, and this gives me a lot more mobility. So after a resolve and evade roll, I can then sprint instead of dodge. So I can actually uh, move up to two squares away. So I'm feeling pretty good about my uh, my setup at the moment, to be honest with you. Mm, you should do. So, so I. Um... Oh, go on. You got you. Yeah, I can do my bit. I can't do evade images the same as you have, but so I uh, my Nora marksman. My first upgrade was to improve my bow uh, to the Kaja Hunt's bow after a particularly bad experience of missing a sitter uh, at the end of the first encounter. Um, I've since been uh, lucky enough to get myself a Kaja sharp shot bow as well, so I can happily use that to to sort of ping people from range and do some serious damage, which is cool. Um, otherwise, I picked up a weave, uh, a um, resist melee weave, which will mean that my Nora Protector is now going to reduce the damage I have from melee attacks by one, which is pretty cool. No, useful. Uh, yeah, I, my other grade, the upgrade is weak point, uh, which is better for me killing something which has already had a component removed. And bear in mind, my, my character is very much a um, methodical kind of hunter that takes off you know, component by component, strips them away for glory, then finishes them off. That should really work well for me. So I'm also feeling pretty good about this. I Sounds also, good. All right. I also have uh, in the top corner of our screen here um, a event card um, oh, to help do. me catch up because I am slower than the others, or I've, not, I've, got, I've got less points than you. So. Yeah, so you're going to be able to um, pump out a vital strike at just the right time, presumably exactly. to try and steal a little bit of glory. Yeah, I'll uh, just finish okay. a particularly difficult thing off. So this is the, so, uh, the mission issue. that we're following. Um, yep. So once two players, we need to score a minimum of four four points. Um, mm be successful and if we are we get two bits of uh, scrap which is super cool do we have a watcher uh, corpse somewhere here Matt that we should be seeing we've got table? a watcher corpse here right so interesting uh, you haven't seen that one before I'll just quickly cover that off the watcher corpse if you are on it uh, then you can spend an action uh, to remove that from play and draw free salvage cards nice so as you basically loot the thing instead. quick little bit of scavenging corpse. going on I like it yeah so, and you'll obviously remember the Rocky Outcrops is getting you bonus glory as you go. Rocky Outcrops, um, bonus glory, job done. Yeah, so an interesting point about the Grazer, uh, which I will cover off just to make uh, you and everybody else aware as well, is the big issue with Grazers, of course, is that they will bolt. 
And yes. if they're alerted and you're not nearby, they, you know, if you're close to one, then it will jump at you and try to attack you. If it's not, then it will run away towards the closest table edge. If it starts off next to the uh, the edge of a tile, it will literally just run away from the encounter, which will mean that we aren't going to... We won't, we'll we still probably be able to finish the scenario. We managed to kill the scrappers, I suspect, but we won't be able to get our bonus salvage at the end. So bear that in mind. Uh, it's a tricky one to try and deal with. Yeah, no worries. Okay, in which case, where do we want to deploy? Well, you're first, uh, and then afterwards, me. Um, so you can deploy, on this one, you can deploy in the center square next to the grazer, um, as in the sort of top row, center one, or you can deploy in any of the three bottom ones because we're in the middle we're in the middle uh, tile. Uh, I think I'm going to deploy uh, here and uh, start my attack from the rock. So I'm standing there on mm. top of the rock, looking out proudly. Okay. I'm going to go in the grass, I think, uh, next to you. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking... Uh, All right. I'm waiting to see what happens with you first before I get going much further, I think. Okay, so... Let us grab uh, five cards. Four, five from my deck. Let's see what we've got. Uh, a couple of freeze bombs is always nice. Hit and run. Uh, after resolving an attack, I can sprint, which is also good. Uh, after this hunter makes an attack, they can reduce the damage inflicted by one. Okay, good. And silent strike. Lovely. Alright. In which case... Oh, last one of you all were where I am in the grass. I am not in the grass, but that's fine. So if I attack the grazer and don't kill it, it's going to become alerted and start legging it, isn't it? Well, it's already next to a table edge, remember? So yeah, where it is there is is not ideal. So you probably want to bait it uh, with a distract, maybe into the middle of the uh, into the middle of the tile, um, or alternatively, you can simply sneak past and let it um, continue on its path, and we can worry. You can worry about that another day. Yeah, in which case I deployed myself into somewhere fairly foolish. Well, you look stylish on the rock, though, Matt. That's true. Um, the other option you could do is you remember you can throw a rock and put it on, um, put it back on the control path. You could effectively move it onto the control path onto the um, on the tile on the right as an option, which might give you a little bit more time to play with. Yeah, I was actually thinking I want to get it onto this tile. Oh. Well, you could do that with distract, can't you? And then just uh, try and take off a component, maybe. But anyway. I'm uh, after too much co-op last time round. I'm going to let you do your thing. Okay, fair enough. Right. So if I throw it into the middle, can the uh, can the thing move uh, diagonally? Yeah, absolutely. In which case, I'm going to distract it into the middle. So I'm going to okay. throw a rock into here, and he's going to kind of come over to there. Um, and then uh, what I think I might do is um, bump a Kaja sling at it. Mm. Are you uh, going to target a component? I asked that because you forget last time round. Right. Let's have a quick look at the grazer. So uh, with the grazer, we have uh, rotor blades and we have a blaze canister. Um, I actually am going to target the uh, blaze canister, I think. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to throw a freeze bomb into this. <laughs> so it's going to get... be on fire and also very, very cold. Hopefully. Uh, so basically, I'm throwing two orange and a black. Um, and I'm hoping for a critical on the uh, on the attack, which I don't get. Uh, so uh, two hits. So you were targeting the blaze canister though, so you will ignore its armor because it's not alert. Yeah. Um, or it wasn't when you made the attack anyway. It will be in a moment. Uh, it's only got a threshold of two on that. Yeah. So that's enough to beat it. So you are actually going to destroy the blaze canister, which Lovely. is going to set oh, the thing on which fire, is a, which is a B. So that is uh, now uh, destroyed. Yep. Uh, you will also have uh, inflicted, obviously, as the text says, uh, you have, well, you've inflicted two wounds to the uh, to the grazer to to whole point damage. Beautiful burner, beautiful. And it's on fire as well because that's what happens when you take out the blaze canister. That is what we uh, like to see. So uh, you can be on fire. What's the good way of marking it? Do you put it next to the, to the fire the... token? Uh, yeah, yeah. Generally, you put there's a fire token you'll have in there, tokens and normally you put the tokens next to it. Okay. Cool, and then that's pretty much the end of my go, right? Uh, it is indeed. Uh, so now we'll go into the enemy phase. Right, uh, so so grazer enemies, then. yeah, grazer will go first because it's alert. It should have an alert token next to it, by the way, which is the exclamation mark if you haven't grabbed one of those. Yep, one. Cool. Um, so let's have a look, see what it does. Is a hunter within one square? Yes. Move towards the closest hunter. 
that's going to be you because you're the active ones so that will go after you. All right. So... Also, you've got you're on the rock. Oh, speaking of which, because you took off a component while you're on the rock, you get a glory point. Yes, I do. And in fact, you get two. You get one for normally doing it, and then one for bonus one for being on the rock. Boom, boom. Two glory for me. Right, but the grazer's going to come bounding up the rock at me. Um, a bit. Feeling a bit agitated. Move one towards me, and it's going to do um, uh, six damage. And then it's attack. going to move away from me. So uh, I get to dodge with my Karja Silks. Uh, and because I'm nimble, I get to roll two and pick the highest one. I am going to pick the one. So I'm going to take... Five points of damage? That's what you get for standing on a big rock. Holy moly. Should have gone, should have gone for the rotor blades. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, maybe I should have. All right. That um, that actually sucked. Um, <laughs> Not for me. In the meantime, the uh, scrappers are going to just follow the path. Uh, remember the uh, remember the thing moves away from you, so it's going to bounce away once. Um, yes. So let's. And yes, you're right. Absolutely, those guys will follow their paths. Let's put that guy back in the middle to finish off yeah. the second part of his uh, the third part of his behaviour. Right over to you, mate. Uh, interesting. So that scrapper, just to quickly check, that's how you move it. The one on the tile on the left uh, is moving towards our tile, correct? Yes. Right. Okay. In fact, they both are. They're both going to convene on this. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Do I try and take care of that grazer, or do I leave you to have the fun with the grazer? Oh, you've got to move, remember, because you, you have a roll, because you've uh, been attacked. So you would roll away somewhere. I might pop into the grass, because... Um, so reasons. strike it, bro. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to make a... Huh. Should we, should I try and I'm not going to agitate the thing. I'm going to fight the grazer. I'm going to see where this goes. So I'm going to attack the grazer. Uh, I'm going to use my. Oh, okay. Let's be quite stylish. I'm going to sliding shot on this one. All right. Nice. <laughs> well, I say this. No, ignore that. I'm kind of looking at all my different cards. I'm realizing I've got too many abilities I want to play. My hand, I basically have a few different things in it that I want to do. I'm going to use my bow to make an attack against this uh, i'm going to target its row of blades because i think that's definitely a necessary thing uh, that's going to be with a hunter arrow which adds so my normal dice is blue because i know you're rolling these so i normally get a blue dice from my Kaja bow. yeah i'm going to add an orange one with a hunter arrow so that's those two yeah and i'm also playing an ability card precision strike which means i've got to target a component which i am i ignore the target's armor when resolving the damage nice so just a red and an orange Yep. Oh, sorry, an orange and a blue. Orange and a blue, and let's roll, see what happens. Uh, you're going to get two. Uh, perfect, that's enough to ping off those rotor blades. So that's going to get me a point of glory for doing that. Two points of damage? Uh, two points of damage to it. All right. Uh, now, interesting. It's got three left. Do I feel bold enough that I want to try and take this thing out with my... Yeah, I'm going to try to do a spear on it and see if I can finish it off. So I'm going to use spear attack in which case, which will move me into um, melee with it. Uh, sorry, move me into the same square as it. Uh, my spear only has two dice, I'm afraid, on this one. Right. Uh, but I'm going to play a weak point as well, uh, which is if the target of this attack has one or more destroyed components, inflict an additional one damage. Right. What, dam what dice do you want on there? Uh, two amber, please. Or orange, I should say. Uh, just one, I'm afraid. My dice need to warm up. Okay, well, that's gonna. I'm gonna ignore it. So, it's gonna one is gonna bounce off his armor, yeah. Uh, but I do do an extra one for some weak points. So I've done one damage to it until okay. unfortunately not quite so spectacular as I would have liked to do, right? So, it's cool. going uh, one to... last thing. Sorry, yeah. I stand correct at the end of its go last term because of the fire token, it would have taken one damage, which means it's even more damage than it was before, and then you would remove the fire token. Helps where I saw uh, Mr. Token. So oh, it's got right. so, little, I've got, left you a sitter there. Oh, you have left me a sitter. Right, let's do scrappers uh, for now. Yep. Uh, and then the uh, simple. The grazer again is a hunter within one square. Well, yes, it is. Move yep. towards the nearest hunter. That's you. Mm. It's going to attack you for naught six, um, but you've taken the rope blades out, so it's attacking you for four. Right. So I have two amber dice, please. Okay. You are going to take three points of damage. Ouch. Uh, okay, well, that's reduced by one because of my melee weave, so I'm going to take two damage in which case, uh, and I'm going to lose those from... Dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum. 
I'm going to lose those from, I think, my hand, so I can at least control right. what those are. And, um, well, it's, it's, you can choose where to uh, push the... Uh... Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I'm going to dive onto the rock, I think. So you're going to go on the um, rock. Where do you want I'm to scrap it? Yeah. The other one will go directly away from me, so it will go up one square towards the... Uh, literally just straight up. Okay. Um, and that's going to be over to you. All right. So if I want to use a silent strike... I can move into this square and hit it, can't I? Uh, you can do. You're going to alert the scrapper doing that because you're going to have to sprint to get over there. If you want to go into the grass, I mean. Well, I was thinking, no, with the silent strike, I can move. Oh, no, I move into there and then I attack, yeah. don't I, as my silent yeah. strike. Yeah, so that's uh, yeah. That's not going to be good. Uh, in which case, uh, let us... Crank out. Um, well, I'm not going to get that, am I? So, hmm. I think the right thing to do then, uh, on while I'm trying to get on the glory train, is actually spend a move to climb up onto the rock again, uh, yep. and then I'm going to um, chuck a Kaja sling at it with two orange plus a black dice. And hope that I get the. Um... Oh, I only need to do one point of damage. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, my um, my failure to roll was bad. Yeah, got the critical, Ugh. which is worth two plus the one, is three, minus the one armor uh, takes that back down to two. So that bad boy is gonna blow up or die. Sadly. Uh, so you'll get. So in terms of doing this, you're gonna get to draw a salvage card. Oh, where did I put those? I have put them somewhere really close by that was handy and useful. And by that, I mean nowhere that's really obvious to me. Uh, I have a bunch of salvage cards here if you oh, want no, me to draw one. I'll put them back in the oh, box. Yeah. Right. Let's, uh... Oh, God. Shuffling talents. That was quite spectacular. It was, wasn't it? Don't mind us, everybody. We're uh, playing 54 card pickup. Looks like it. Yeah. Right. In this case, 56, I think. So I get one of these, do I? Uh, you get to have one of those. Okay. I'm hoping for it still breathes. Metal shards. Uh, was... Okay. And then you're now going to earn two glory points for normally, but then plus another one because you're on the rock. Uh... So you're actually going to get three glory points for that, which pushes you up to five, unless I'm mistaken. Five glory. Ugh, scrap that is no I have more. quite the mountain to climb on this one. Uh, and that is my uh, the end of my go. So no reaction from the uh, grazer. Uh, these guys are going to patrol in and patrol. Maybe it's, maybe it sparks a little bit, but it's not terribly happy about it. Yeah. Right. Uh, it is your go now. This guy um, has come on and joined another route, so he's going to go off the board if we're not careful. No, I think I need to sort of ping away at this guy straight away, to be honest. So. Uh, in my turn, I am going to aim for the scrapper, and I think the way of doing this, in my mind, is going to be I'm going to aim for the power cell. So, what does this look like? Are you shooting at it from here? Uh, I am from my range on my rock, so I want the extra points. So let's do, yeah, let's do the power cell because that seems the most powerful thing. Uh, I don't really want to get shot by it. Is the truth. So let's do a Hunter Arrow. I don't think I've got anything else I can play to this at this stage, because most of my stuff does that. No. Nah. Cool. So it's uh, my dice is a blue and a and a orange. Okay. Uh, and this is targeting something with an armor of four. Right, at least I ignore its armor, actual armor only. Uh, I've done you proud with four points. You really of have. Spectacular. So that's ripped straight away. So that's killed um, component A on that guy. Um, it will make the uh, the hunter alert. Uh, sorry, the the beast alert. Does that mean you take um, you you inflict that two points of damage, or do you uh, do I do four, I inflict four. two points of damage to it as well. Okay. Uh, it's alert, and also I am going to gain two glory. One for the actual one for the actual being on top, and then one bonus one for the rock. Nice. All right. Um, Second action. 
Yeah, I'm just having a quick look. Oh, sorry, I will play one quick card, uh, which is I will play as a reaction card. I will interrupt um, critical hit, which means I can draw a card from the salvage deck after I remove a component. Oh, very nice. Uh, you can have a... Oh, chill water. I'll take that. Yeah. Cool. That's pretty right. good. Okay, uh, for my next one, hmm, I don't think I can do anything terribly exciting here. Let's... Do I want to make life really interesting and bring that second scrapper in and make it messy? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to perform a... I'm going to perform a distract. Yes. Um, and I'm going to throw that. I'm going to throw a rock into the square next to the uh, to the other scrapper that is still alert. That one. Uh, sorry, isn't alert. Sorry. Yep. And I'm going to bring it into that square there. Okay. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because I think having extra. I don't. Basically, what I'm concerned about is you kind of pinging off and doing your thing. I want to kind of make this into a bit more of a mess so it's easier for me to exploit. Fair enough. Cool. Uh, that's the end of my turn. All right, uh, so scrappers. Uh, so uh, the one who is alert, Dagoid start with. He's alert for a start, so he is going to use his behavior. Uh, his behavior is Is there a hunter within one square? Why, no. In which case, yeah. he is going to. Uh, what's that? He's going to shoot us with squares. a range of two, but unfortunately, because I root the component, it can't do that. All oh, right, in which case, he's going to move two towards the closest hunter. Just going to jump up on the rock with us. Okay. That's less than cool. Nope. And then the other one is simply going to follow the patrol path and enter onto our tile. All right. Now next turn, that's going to move into the same into the next square adjacent to that scrapper and become alert. So just to add a little bit of pressure to this fight. Uh, yes. I'm half tempted to run off and go south and go hit up that dead uh, that watcher corpse and leave you to deal with them. Uh, that could be a bit mean. Uh, yeah, could be. Uh, right, I am going to... Mm, not Silent Strike. I'm just literally going to hit with my Halberd okay. for my first attack, uh, which is a, um, uh orange and a blue. Are uh, you target a component before you roll? Um, I am not. Okay. Going straight up damage. Three points of damage. Uh, it's got an armor uh, of one, so that's two points of damage. Okay. Takes that particular scrapper up to four. Uh, I'm going to play hit and run. After resolve an attack, I can do a free sprint action. Mm, smart. So one, two, and then uh, my second action is going to be a sprint. One, two. So, oh my, well done, Matt. <laughs> this scrapper spectacular. is going to move to there. Uh, well, the active one will go first, so the right. active one's going to hit me. So the active one right. is going to, is a hunter within one square? Yes, move one towards the closest hunter, and then attack you for four points of damage. Okay, well, just, I've got two, I've got to make some evade rolls. Yep, you're two orange, is that right? Uh, indeed. Uh, looking to deflect four damage. Oh, just one coming through. Okay, uh, I will lose a card from my hand. I'm going to lose that hunter arrow. And then it's going to move one away from the closest hunter. So um, I'm actually going to put it... I, I'm going to roll, remember. So I will roll into the grass, I think. Cool, and I'm going to put this guy here. Uh, so what's interesting is that will make that one alert now when it activates because the other hunter is... Because uh, the other scrapper is in the education square. Yep. Uh, is the hunter within uh, one square? No, he's going to stand there and shoot you for six. When it becomes alert, it won't activate, I believe. I'll just double-check our rules to make sure that I'm not making up rules on the spot for everybody. I'll just quickly double-check. I believe it just becomes alert and that's it. Okay, fair enough. I, I remember we basically had chain attacks of terrifying proportions, if you can envision. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, in which case, here's your go. Two alert uh... scrappers. Oh, one moment, I'm just going to quickly double check that to make sure that happens. It's my gift to you. Alright. Oh no. No, it will indeed activate. It will. Sorry, I stand correct. He's going to shoot me. Alright, in which case you need to dodge six points of damage coming. Oh, I do. Here it comes. Oh, well, you've got a critical. Have you got a critical? Uh, I do. That's three. Alright, so four. Managed to dodge four for you. So two points of damage. 
Uh, okay. And then it moves to towards that. the nearest hunter, uh, so it's just bounding straight into the long grass. Uh, okay. Interesting. Um, and by interesting, you mean... Uh, no, remember that's optional. That's It only does one of those things. It just shoots me from a range map. Oh, okay. It's a blue one. So oh, that's, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, quite yeah. so bad. So, ugh, I'm still going to have to roll. I'm going to roll onto that rock, at least. Uh, roll back onto the rock after my shot. Cool beans. Since I'm now apparently fighting these two things on my own. Right. I saw something shiny in the um, in the flowers over here. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. Right, uh, for me then. Yeah. Two, I am two going... of scrappers. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Uh... <laughs> oh, it's grim. Uh, let's have a look. I'm looking at a handful of uh, of cards that aren't me terribly terribly useful here. I fear. I am going to shoot at. The problem I have is is that I really do need to try and do enough damage to the uh, the wounded one, uh, that you can't just silent strike it um, and kill it next turn. So I think I'm going to use my. I'm going to use my card of sharpshooter bow. Um, which could cost both actions to do this, to shoot at the um, to shoot at the one that's currently uh, just the damaged one with four yeah. wounds left. Uh, I'm going to put a fire arrow into this. All right. So that is going, and I'm also going to put in. Um, I'm just targeting the main hole. I'm also going to hmm, armor of one. How bold do I feel? I'm also going to put a sliding shot into this as well. This is going to be spectacular. Wow. Right. So uh, that will give me one blue dice and three amber, uh, three orange ones. Three orange and one blue. Yep. And I need to get a total of five, ideally. I think I've done that. Uh, you really have. Uh, that's done an impressive total of uh, six, seven. Um, minus one for the armor has definitely done that. Yeah. Uh, kabang. Cool. Right. Okay. Let's quickly add that up then. So uh, that's going to be dead. Good times. That will give me uh, two two scrap uh, two salvage cards. Yep. Which are? Uh, they are metal shards. Okay. Two lots of metal shards for you. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Right. Uh, then glory wise, I'm going to get two points for killing the scrapper. All right. Plus, sliding shot will give me an additional one. Plus, the rock will give me another one for a swing of four. Oh, wow. What does that put you on? Uh, I'm now on seven to your five. Oh, all right. Okay. That changes. That got me back in the game in a big that way. Changes things. Right. Let's that, just... that did just spend both of my actions doing that. Let's just clear this scrapper down. Right. So, this guy is going to uh, react to this. Um, he's going to. Use shooting me again. <laughs> his behavior. Uh, is a hunter within one square? No. He's going to shoot you again up on the rock. Six points of damage coming your way. Ooh, hopefully and not. you're dodging with two orange. I'm dodging with two orange. So you're going to take four. Uh, okay, that's not the best. I'm going to take four from my deck and feel very, very wounded. Cool. Uh, and I'll roll into the grass. Shoot! Which is no good because he's got radar, but and we'll, cut, we'll cross yeah. that bridge when we come to it. Yeah. Okay, uh, so let us um, uh, search this uh, scrap. Um, Oh, sorry, I should technically ask. We've done enough to finish the encounter, Matt. Would you like to finish here? Uh, no. <laughs> Didn't think so, somehow. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I, I quite like the idea of you weakening this thing and then me coming in right at the end. Um, uh, well, I may even faint at this point, which so could gonna, not be good. Well, I'm going to search this uh, scrapper, scrapper that would do. So how many tokens do I get? Uh, I'm just going to double check to make sure. I believe it's three. One second. Just to make sure I'm not remembering an older version of the rules. All right. Uh, yep, yeah, uh, it's three. Three. It's so three cards from salvage deck. I'm gonna get metal shards, sparker, and more metal shards. So, uh, okay, that's interesting. We're definitely gonna be well provisioned for this last game. Yes. Right. Uh, so that was one action, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it was. I am gonna. Interesting. He's going to just stand there and shoot at you, isn't he? Whereas if I move into here, he's going to then shoot at me. Yep. I quite like him shooting at you and not me. Don't move onto the rock then. You will attract more attention to you. So, oh, no, you won't actually because you're too out of range anyway. Yeah. I think um, 
I don't really want to take a hit, so I'm just going to stealth into the grass. Okay. Uh, so the scrapper, in which case? Oh, it's bad. Is hunter within one square? No, in which case it's going to shoot uh, Tom Me. within two, which is you. And it's going to shoot you for six again. How many cards you got left? Uh, I've got a glorious two in my deck and three in my hand. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, I've taken quite the battering. Here. What happens if you faint? Uh, well, I'm going to lose my glory, uh, and then I'll stand up in a turn's time with all my cards. Okay. Um, oh, I've done the best I could for you with well, four. Here's a crit. You still so take four. two points. Uh, I'm going to lose... <laughs> I'm going to lose those two cards from my hand. Leave me a one. And then that's... Ugh, this is grim, Matt. Okay. All right. Uh, I need to roll away, so I'm going to roll towards you and the rock. Uh, diagonally up one, please. Okay. You go, then. Right, uh, I'll draw two cards. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do uh, is use my health potion I've been hanging on to. That's an interrupt. Uh, to scrap this card to shuffle the bottom six cards from Miss Hunter's discard pile into their action deck. Useful. Yeah, there's a reason why I did that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Uh, and then I'm simply going to have to move on. I, I'm going to move on to. I'm going to find myself running onto that rock, basically. So I'm going to move. I'm going to move up, creep up onto that rock. Okay. In fact, no. Let's sorry. Let's sprint on the other side of it because otherwise it's still going to attack me when it gets there anyway. Because uh, you're going to. I'm going to attract the most tension. Yeah. That will do. Cool. All right. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, you're in control of this guy, so he's going to move. Is a hunter within one square? No. Yep. Uh, is it, can he shoot someone within two? No. In which case he's going to move two, one, two to the nearest hunter. Yep. This guy's bounding towards us. Beautiful, beautiful. Right. Um, I am going to dump some cards. I'm going to dump two, pick up two. Oh, that's no use. Right. Uh, can I hit it twice if I with my halberd? No, you could do one an action once per turn, but you could like um you could use a sling on it or the rattler, for example, and then dump him with a halberd. Yeah, I might do that. I'm gonna shoot with the halberd. Um, I'll shoot with the halberd. That's no, an, sorry, I'm gonna I'm... shoot with the rattler, which um I'm gonna discard the top card of my action deck. Is a freeze bomb, and I'm gonna shoot it. Um. Oh, please give me a critical. No, but four points of damage is not to be... Were you targeting at. components, by the way? Or no. Were you just literally... Okay, cool. So in which case, you have three damage to it. One, two, three. Um... Oh, that's such a shame. What's it got left? Five. So I need to roll uh... six damage. Fortune favors the brave. Right, let's you could go. go for a, you could go for a component, Matt. Mm, I could, or I could go for I glory. Go for Silent strike, Carja halberd. Oh, okay, yeah, that is quite big. Uh, two blue and an orange. Yeah, that does feel really bold. Okay, well, you're going to go into the same square if you do that. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. This is no guts, no glory. I'm enjoying this. I kind of wanted the blazing strike, but um, yeah, never mind. Right, if it's six or more, it's all over. Oh, that nearly tipped over into the crit. Um, <laughs> right, so it's three. So in which case, it's uh, five points of damage in total, which has set you up nicely for the uh, for a finishing off kill. For the finishing off. Um, In which case, I can't really... No, actually, what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to um, make it... A total of four damage by playing Anatomical Precision. Oh, nice. Draw two cards. Uh, From the Salvage deck. Yeah. Stick that there, and I'm also going to play. Uh... Can I play as many interrupts as I want? Uh, only if you've hit the conditions for them, yeah. No, in actual fact, I'm going to stand there and just tank it. Okay. 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 
Uh, so how much damage is this? Well, no, let's let's let you find out from the results of this first. Let's move into the thing. So that's your two actions. So the uh, the scrapper is now going to, uh, I'm sure, do some damage to you. Yep. So it's um, I'm winning. So it's going to move in. It's going to do yep. a claw attack, which I'm going to dodge uh, three points of. Uh, so now I'm going to take three points. Um, Remember, you've got your resist melee, if that helps. So you're going to reduce oh, that. Oh, no, you've got resist range, haven't you? That's Sorry. Range. That's yeah. So three cards go down there. Uh, and then it's going to move one away from the closest hunter. And you're going to roll first, remember. So um, so you can control where it's going to go a little bit with this. Yeah, I'm going to roll to here and push this guy. Yeah, that's smart. Back Moves him there. away from, out of range of my, uh, my big bad boy bow. Yep. Over to nice. you. Okay, how much damage is that? Does that lovely beast taken? Four in total. Only taken four damage. Yeah. I mean, I'm yeah, fully that's... conscious you got a vital strike. So quite honestly, yeah, you're probably going to finish it off. Yeah, that is true. But I, I'm not giving myself much margin for error by fluff. But it hasn't lost any components yet. It's more so much the fact that the part of me that likes removing components uh, thinks that's good. But if I can just kill it, it ends it really, doesn't it? So let's do that. So I'm going to move one onto the rock. Um, because my animals look the most stylish possible way possible for doing this. Yeah. Uh, then I am going to aim at the main body. I'll be rolling a blue and an orange uh, using a hunter arrow to do this. Hasn't lost any components, so I can't do any bonus stuff there. And let's just hope this is good. Main body. Oops. Two points. Uh, two points, which goes down to one, uh, but then I'll use exactly as you said, Vital Strike to inflict an additional three, which is four. Which finishes it off. Well, let's draw from the salvage deck first. There might be some nasty surprises in there. So, All right. Uh, so how many cards from the salvage? Two. Two. So the first... Oh, God. The first one is an ancient vessel. Okay. Seems good to me. Uh, oh, you can visit a different level of... And then you've got chill water. Oh. Okay, the range of vessel would be really, really smart if I had, um, if I wasn't already at level three. But it might mean I can go to back to the lower levels and get something for a bit cheaper, which is interesting. Maybe. Okay, cool. Right. So, uh, and that will then earn me a bunch of extra glory. But obviously, uh, yeah, I couldn't catch you up. I needed yeah. that critical to happen, and then I could have finished it off with my silent strike because I did have a, um, uh, a, a blazing, the blazing strike, strike, which might yeah. have been able to one shot it for me and steal the uh, steal the game. So yes, you win. This the last. time round, which is grand. Right, let's uh, let's grab the merch. Worth, deck. worth pointing out how much that healing potion was really clutch for me, Matt. There, like, I had literally went down to one card, and that healing potion let me heal six. Was really really important. Well, that that last action I took put me on one, so I was yeah. kind of fully. I was all in on it, but uh, yeah. Right. Okay. So uh, we finished the scenario. So we get two um, two doodads each, don't we? Uh, we do because we killed some stuff. So, okay, so because we you killed can everything. have uh, some metal shards and a blaze. Oh, and I'm going to get uh, an ancient statue. Oh, that's pretty cool. And a trophy shot. Um, sad face. But never mind. The oh. ancient statue is pretty cool. Right. So uh, just quickly going into this, uh, other bits of things. So I will get a uh, sun token now. Uh, and then in doing so, I will pass you the leader token. Uh, sorry, I'll grab the leader token. You would get the fledgling token. Yeah. Uh, now, in terms of how that works, that means in the coming forthcoming merchant phase, I will get to go first. But you, at some point during it, can make a purchase uh, for free. All right. Cool. Okay. Let's so keep that in mind. Have a look and see what is in the merchant deck. So. Oh, sorry. You may make your first purchase without paying the salvage cost All of the right. card. Right. So, what do we want out on the merchant deck then? Uh, sure, let's quickly go to that. So we will need uh, one weapon card. Okay. Yeah, I've got a hoarder's satchel. Uh, well, hang on to that, because we'll need that anyway. So that's your miscellaneous card, so drop that down. Okay. Uh, so then we'll need one. one. There's one yeah. armor card, one weapon card. Oh, there you go. That's our two ammo cards. So that's good. Uh, that's the weapon card. That's good. One armor card. Still looking for an armor card. And then two mods. Oh, mate. Look at all this stuff that's coming out. 
Yeah, uh, this is the good deck. This is a really awesome deck. Is that um that counts as a weapon, doesn't it? Uh, what does? Sorry. The trip the... caster. Yes, yes, it does. Uh, a satchel... You may not have shuffled. Did I? You may not have shuffled this too right, much. Let's start yeah, again guess... and give these a proper shuffle because that just doesn't feel right. I've got a horrible feeling I didn't shuffle them at all. Cool. Meantime, yeah, this is the this is the really interesting deck where you start getting all the really cool stuff coming out. Yeah. You'll also notice the cost is quite high for some of these things. Well, quite rightly. Oh. You look at that, dude. Come in. Really have a look while you're doing that, see if we've got any questions. Nothing too much coming up at the moment. Nah, as everyone's just melting in the heat today, I think. Everyone's super chill. Right, okay, let's try again. So we've got a Shadow Trip Cast, we're definitely going to need that. That's our weapon card. Freeze Coil, we're going to need that. Uh, that's one of our mods. Uh, resist Shock Potion, we'll need that. That'll, yep, that's there's, the one our MISC. That's another good. another mod. Uh, yep, so there's that's those two. Armor. Uh, there you go, perfect. Do we need another satchel? Uh, we don't because we've got the resist thing, so that'll go into the pile of stuff we'll possibly pick up okay, afterwards. Uh, some ammo. Yep. Another ammo another... card. That's a weave. Yep. Uh, we've already got two mods, so no need that. Okay. I think the we've next armor. armor. Can... Nope. Um, another satchel. Nope. Look at that last ammo card, I think. Another armor. Need a weapon as well, don't we? Oh, no, we've got the weapon. Yeah, I've got the weapon. Okay. Weapon. That's ammo. Okay, that's it. Okay. So I've got uh, one armor, one weapon. Yep. I've got one uh, satchel. Yep. Two, two ammo, two, mo two mods, and then two ammo, right? Yep. Perfect. Okay. So let's have a quick look then, in which case, uh, what we've actually got. Uh, if you could just tell me, Matt, and I'll grab the card so I can see, because they're a bit... Uh, we've got a shock bomb and a blast wave. Actually, I'll bring the camera in nice and close so people okay. can see. Yeah, that makes sense. Um... There you go. That Perfect. is what we've got. Cool. Short moment now while I actually have a look at this all. Uh, is that Banu Gaisan so heavy? Ooh, so very interesting. Do like that. Uh, in fact, I probably like that enough that I think that's my first purchase. Well, the Banuk Ice Hunter Heavy. Yeah, I'm going for the Banuk Ice. I'm going to go for the Banuk Ice Hunter Heavy as my first one. So that's one of my chill waters and two of these metal shards. All right. Gone. Well, that's gone. So you've got that. So you, yep. You draw a replacement. Doesn't matter what that is. It's a damage coil. Okay, um, I get my first purchase for free, don't I? You do. So if I get the trip caster, that's going to give me... What does this little symbol mean? Uh, that lays down traps that do damage. Unless you've got traps, I wouldn't recommend that, because you're going to find yourself trying to basically look through your deck to find loads of bits and pieces uh, that are actually going to let you trigger it. Same with the blast wire, isn't well, it? The blast wire would go with that, so that would be a, a central purchase. But you'd basically be, you know, looking for that blast wire throughout your entire deck. It's kind of annoying. My first one being for free is not going to be that useful. I don't it's... know. That damage coil looks pretty expensive. Uh, yeah, it's but I've got place. nothing to put it on at the moment. Uh, can you not put it oh, on? Oh no, I can put it on. Yeah, actually, you, you've got you've got a thing points. in the corner of each card uh, which tells you how many weaves or how many um, coils can be attached to it. Yeah, I'll take the damage coil. Was... Okay. Okay. That does make sense. That's pretty which nice gets replaced card. by a hard point arrow. Oh, I think I would definitely be going for that. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, I think that seems like a fairly sensible hard point arrow me. for you. Uh, let me check a quick look. See, how I've got the shards. Oh, that hurts. Right, I'm going to have to replace. Yeah, I've only got one metal shards though, so I'm going to, have to do that, and then I'm going to chuck away. I'm going to be brave. I'm chucking away off chill water to count the metal shards to get that. All right. So hard point arrow is yours, which is going to yep. get replaced by a resist ranged weave, which I've already got. Um, I'm 
I think now's a good time to play my ancient statue. Oh, Reveal okay. Top three cards from the merchant deck and purchase one of them. Um, Interesting choice. So I can purchase one of them for one metal shard. Oh, Full God. health potion. That's really good. Uh... What are your choices? Oh, yeah, four for uh, Ostrom awesome Arrow Breaker Heavy. That's really, really good. And then. Yeah, but. That Arrow Breaker is really good. The downside, too, being that it's going to disrupt your Nimble ability. Sure, but I'm rolling two anyway, aren't I? Yeah. Um, I mean, Full Health Potion also seems pretty sweet. Yeah. I'm going to... Hmm. Oh, it's a tough choice, actually. I'm gonna... I like the way that this is uh, forcing you to make such difficult decisions, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to grab the armor, I think. Should I grab the armor? Or is... No, that's a bit of a lightweight thing to do. The full health potion is going to let you really just run around doing your normal Kaja thing, but then with a little bit more less worry. That yeah, you have I'm going to grab the health killed. potion. The cost of a metal shard. Those two things go. Right, over to you. Uh, I'm trying to quick look at this, but what I might find myself doing, to be honest, is is that a just range weave? What does that do well, in terms of the cost? Ugh, if only I hadn't got rid of my chill water. Got two blazes, and that's all I got. I'm actually going to pass. I'm going to hang on to those two blazes and prep for the next scenario. Uh, hmm. So if you pass, this will end the round. Or alternatively, if you carry on going, then we'll get another go at this. Well, what's the conversion rate? Because that's chill water, and I've only got a sparker. Uh, so your chill water can you your chill water? Sorry, your sparker can count as one metal shard if you want it to. Yeah, in which case, I but two metal shard two metal shards can count as one. You know, one um one chill water. So basically, I could. Convert all, all three of those, those cards to what you need to raise coil. Which is not to be sniffed at. You've already got one on your rattler though, haven't you? True. But I could stick it on my sling and then I've got a double critical effect then. Well you choose which one you want to use when you do it. So it just gives you more versatility versus double stacking all the event events. Oh in which case I'm gonna hold on. I'll pass as well. Okay. And that's that round over. Cool. So, that is that. Uh, other than levelling up. Don't forget the really cool, interesting part. So, yes. I've already scouted out what I think I would go with. So I can do mine if you're having a look at yours. Oh, you say what? Let's go with. So, you can choose from... Elemental Mastery or Lightbringer, because I went Deep Freeze last time, didn't I? You can indeed. While you're looking for those cards, do you want me to quickly do my ones? Yeah, go or... for it. So my, my train, uh, because I went down the side, you can't unfortunately see this, everybody, but it's I have the choice of Double Shot or Virtuoso, both of which are traits. Now, if I go for Double Shot, uh, I can play an additional ammunition card when I make an attack, which is pretty cool. Alternatively, if I go Virtuoso, then I can ignore the once per activation restriction for range attacks, but I can't target a single enemy multiple times. So that's really good if there's lots of different enemies around. I'm going to go for Double Shot. Um, this is really, for my mind, is a really interesting distinction between playing one to two player where you've got a few less enemies versus playing when you've got a few more enemies over you on the table if you're playing three to four. Right. So I'm going to have to churn through my deck, but you know, hopefully put in some more damage to stuff. I've got a tough choice. Elemental Mastery. Uh, when I yep. kill an enemy uh, suffering a condition, I can perform a free melee attack. That's pretty good. Which is pretty doody. Lightbringer is pretty nice. Um, it's a halberd upgrade, isn't it? It is a halberd upgrade, and that means I lose that weave, don't I? No, uh, you can put it onto the you can put it onto the new thing, so you can switch it over. Interesting. So whether you want the uh, well, that isn't an easy decision for you to make. Uh, I'm going to go elemental mastery. I think. Not the worst choice. Yeah, I'll go elemental mastery. Um, so that's cool. I need to work out where I'm going to put my damage coil. Uh, so, Elements from Masteries, that's a trait, isn't it? Uh, yes. So, your deck hand has just, in, uh, your deck size has just increased by two. So, what cards did you get from the merchant? 
a coil and a health potion, so I need to stack so my you need deck. To have one, you need to put one stamina card in your deck. Yeah. To make you up, same as me, for my one, because I also had a trait. Yeah. No, that's fine. Good. All right. Cool. Well, look, I'm going to um, I'm going to look to press the pause button there. What was quite nice about that was I think the uh, the scenario took about sort of thirty minutes or so of play, which is quite you know on 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 where we want it to be. Um, we've done a round. We've got uh, one more hunt, and then we've got the big fight, haven't we? Yeah. So we've uh, we've now got to the point where our hunters are leveled up as they're going to be, but uh, there's still a whole bunch of merchant stuff for further refining of our decks to go. Yep. And more importantly, um, it's now two one to you with the sun tokens. That's so true. If I can get if I can get the next one, then it's really interesting going into the last one. You going can get the last fight. Sun, you can get double sun tokens in the last encounter Ooh. because you get one when you finish off the quarry as well as who's got the most glory. Ooh. Okay. Cool. So on that note, I'm going to hit the stop button. So thanks for joining me, mate. Yep. We're happy to be here. And we'll uh, catch everyone next time. Yep. Thanks, guys.